Jim Cramer is screaming that this is a perfect time to buy. But is he wrong? I'm your host, Steve Van Meter, and thanks for joining me today. And Jim Cramer, the host of CNBC's Mad Money, has told his viewers that this is a perfect time to buy. But before we break down Jim's picks, let's take a look at the broad market. And also in today's show, we'll take a look at last week's picks and our pick of the week. Let's head over to CNBC, who headlines that Jim Cramer says to consider buying these eight stocks now that commodity prices are down. Cramer said on Thursday that he advised investors to take advantage of falling commodity prices by adding to their portfolios. Oil's down big, gasoline's down big, and you can buy all sorts of stocks that benefit from cheaper fuel, especially travel and leisure plays, which make up his eight picks. And he's added that while he's usually apt to sell industrial stocks during an economic slowdown, declining prices of commodities such as oil, grains, and metals mean investors can consider purchasing shares of companies that have reported great quarters recently. However, he says investors should remain disciplined in their buying. Let's take a look at the broad market first. Let's start out with the S&P 500. We're looking at the largest ETF symbol, SPY. Momentum remains positive. The RSI we're looking for, if you remember, a number over 40. It's at 64.5. That tells you momentum is to the upside. The MACD is still positive cross. It's slowing a little bit, but still it's positive. Momentum Timer Pro, you may recall, gave us a golden signal. And that's when it's three month hits a minimum after the one month is showing a positive signal it did that on 727 now if you bought it open now let's take a look at how it's doing it came out at 394.36 friday's closing 413.47 so it's up next upside target is 427 to 428 right now we're seeing on the one month signal is sitting at max it's strong the the three month signal is at mid that is strong in building and the six month signal just recently flipped to a minimum so those are all really strong signals now let's take a look at the charts to see why there may be some more upside here for the s p and keep in mind the bull case for stocks right now is the fact that there's a lot of momentum driven machines that are still sitting somewhat short the market that if prices go any bit higher they're going to all flip and start buying and that will bring you your bull case but where could this go if they start to buy We'll zoom out here to the two-year chart. We've got our volume profile on, turned on. We've got our MACD down here. We've got the RSI. We see the RSI is trending to overbought condition, which it gets near 70, so it's building up there. So perhaps you know we're seeing the early stages of a bit of reversal. If we do see a reversal, you're looking down here around, you see this volume popping out here around 406. Even as possible, if it comes all the way back down here to this volume chunk below at 393, you'd still be okay because because that's where the 50-day moving average is hooking up. You want to see a cross to the 50-day and a reconfirmation at some point. So a pullback here wouldn't be terrible. But if we do see some mechanical buying, well, your upside targets the supply zone up here around 432. Now, there's maybe a little bit of a headwind. Let's zoom in a little bit. And in between these supply zones, there's a little bit of volume. Now, when we're out on the two-year chart, you don't see it as much. But here in the six-month chart, you certainly see it. Now, why is this such a big buying opportunity? And I mean, not to Kramer, but to market participants. Well, on the weekly chart, you can see the MACD completely oversold and hooking up to the upside. The RSI was oversold on the weekly, and it's heading high. Last time that happened, turned out to be a huge buying opportunity. And then the time before that, the next biggest time, was well near the bottom of the great financial crisis. So from investors' perspective right now, they have to be looking at the market saying, how can I go wrong? Well, the Fed is still tightening, so you can go pretty wrong. Let's take a look at tech stocks now as we continue our broad market overview, and we see the momentum is positive on the NASDAQ, 65.7 on the RSI. MACD still positive across. These are looking like they're getting you know, oversold, potentially a short-term pullback. Let's look at momentum timer pro triggered its golden signal at 727 gave you a buy it open at 299.04 friday's closes at 321 putting our next upside target at 330 to 331 same signals we're seeing the s p strong one month uh, the six three month signal is at a mid and moving higher and six month window is there at minimum now if you're wondering how you get momentum time pro believe it or not it's still free i'll put a link up here in the corner and the description below for a limited time only this is a momentum based signal machine that i built and what it does is scans a lot of different etfs and gives you the signals and i help you figure out which ones you should look at all right let's take a look at the of course charts for the tech stocks here and see what we can find out with qqq 
Now, again, as we mentioned, we're seeing the RSI just off of oversold conditions, and we see the MACD starting to maybe peak and roll over, suggesting there's a little bit, you know, move down here. Now, where would that go? You might want to see it come down into the top of this supply zone. There's kind of this interim supply zone between these two bigger ones. So you can see it come down in here to the 310, maybe as low as the 305 range. Your upside target in here into the 343, that is what you're looking at. We zoom out here, you can see in between these supply zones on the two year chart, you don't really notice that little you know, point of volume that you see in the last six months. So there's your upside target into the supply zone. Notice on the two year chart, you've got some nice volume support there. That's where people have bought over the last two years. In fact, that's where everybody's been buying over the last two years. So maybe they'll be looking to add back in. Again, the bull case from the big picture is you're coming off the weekly MACD being deeply oversold, coming off the RS, weekly RSI also deeply oversold. Again, last time that happened, you had big thrust in the market. Of course, you have to go back even further, perhaps to the great financial crisis to find the bottom there. Again, this is why investors are bullish on the markets right now. All right, let's take a look at our next one, which is the bond market, wherever I need to get back to our screen here. Here we go. And what do we see in the bond market? We talked about last week, how it was looking like it was breaking support. That was our headline for last week. Sellers came in, so we're not there yet, but you're starting to see the big picture. Here's your left shoulder, here's your head, here's your right shoulder, big topping pattern. Is it unusual after breaking a line of support to see sellers come in? Not at all. So sellers last dance here. Let's take a look at the bond part of that component. Remember, yields trade inversely to bonds. Look at iShares 20 year plus treasury bond ETF TLD. Momentum's positive, although it's been slowing down a little bit here. RSI is at 49.6. MACD still has a positive cross. Momentum Time Pro, the last strong signal it gave was when the three month flipped to mid on 727. But if we go back to the original golden signal, uh, that was a buy it open at 114.91. It's sitting at 116.47. Downside target could be below that at 114 to 115. We'll look at that in a moment. Next upside target is back higher to 119 to 120. Otherwise, we're seeing we want to see in momentum. One month is strong, sit at max. The three months is at mid and will eventually build into the six month before this thing goes higher. So we're seeing some really nice signals there. Let's pull over now and look at the charts for TLT and see what's going on here because you can see this is nicely bottoming out on the bigger picture here. You have cross over the 50 day moving average, that green line, cross through the 21 day moving average, a red line, a reconfirmation on the 21. Now it closed just below the 21 day moving average on Friday, but if it holds that and moves higher, well look at where the six month volume profile is. You see all this trading volume here. There's your downside target. Is it into that six month or slightly below? Above that, you have a move back to the top of the supply zone, the breakout point you want to know where the breakout is still a bit higher at this 124 i think you've got to get through 124 before a much bigger move higher happens uh, if history is any guide got a couple more months of bottom now here but look here on this five-year chart you see all this volume traded here how about the bigger picture the weekly uh, why are people still bullish on bonds? Well, if you get this oversold on bonds, well, the last time that happened, you had a nice little move here and you have some other moves. Let's see, it doesn't, yeah, here's the, ne here's the last one before that. Nice big move higher in price. So when it gets to these levels, you see some big moves higher and looking at the max weekly chart, you can see the supply zone is where most of the buyer, well, all the buyers have been at breakthrough there and you've got your upside window on bonds. All right, now what do we have next? Let's take a look at, I think we've got our, oh, Jim's picks. That's right, we've got Jim's picks. Of course, I'm dancing around my screens trying to move back and forth. Here we go. All right, on to Jim's picks. He said he likes the travel sector. So we're gonna look at, rather than break down each one of his eight picks, we're going to look at the cruise ETF, which is defines home airline and cruise. Momentum is positive. RSI is 56. MACD has a positive cross. I looked at Momentum Timer Pro, ran the screen on the one month recently flipped to maximum on 8.4. Had you had that signal, which you wouldn't because it's not screened in the report. You're going to buy it open at 16.70. Friday's close 16.62. So down slightly. Upside target at 18. Downside at 16. All right, let's let, head over to the chart for cruise and see where it goes. 
So looking at this, there's some things you got to like here. You, got, you have a downward trending moving average. Notice the 21 day in red. It has first crossed and a confirmation. There probably will be another one. So where's your downside target here is right here in the 16 range where this volume is. That would coincide with a tag against the 21 day moving average. The 50 day hasn't flattened out. The X upside move you see is into this volume right here and into the 17 to 18 range. Let's zoom out a little bit. There's not a lot of data on this ETF to look at. Uh, so in terms of Jim's picks, if you want my opinion on that, I'd say he's early on the call. I don't say he's right, but if you're if he's if you're going to trade based on what he's looking at here, uh, well then you might want to keep your stops at those levels. You'll notice Momentum Tire Pro has initial stop label levels now based on an average true range formula, and that again is an initial level, not something you're going to update every day. All right, let's take a look at our signals from last week. See how they've been doing. Oh, we got Jim's other pick. I forgot. The perfect time to buy gold, he told his viewers on Wednesday. He says gold's about to rally the charts, as interpreted by the legendary Larry Williams. Suggests the general public's giving up on gold in mass. I don't know about that. And he thinks it makes perfect entry time to do some buying. Gold futures fell on Wednesday, but then they headed higher. Let's take a look at, of course, what we see our screens uh, momentum is positive on gld we'll also look at gold futures rsi is at 54 macd has a positive cross momentum timer pro the daily flip to a bias their last signal we had now this isn't a downtrend how do you know because the one and three month signal are none so this is just building steam if it's going to go higher and if you did buy that signal well you bought it 163.31 friday's close was 165.29 so you're up next upside target is 167 downside 161 to 162 let's head over to the chart of gld and then we'll look at gold futures where there it is up here so here's your downside moving down here to the 21 day moving average again this is a very early signal upside is in here to this 170 range where you see the last volume had if we look at the bigger picture it, it's still too early to call i mean it still to me looks like a broader bottoming pattern or topping pattern and you see it rammed up here right into this 1800 zone and immediately found sellers on friday came back down there's your two-year volume profile line where you're seeing yeah heavy selling let's look at the bigger picture the max weekly you can see that it's coming on rsi is coming off over almost oversold on the weekly magnes trying to turn around so you know there's a maybe here that this could be yet uh, but i tell you what if that's their call uh they're i'd say they're way early on this because we've seen a lot of rejection of this level and again 1687 is the or 78 is the breaking point of this topping pattern but so far if you ask me uh, i'm unconvinced that this is a continuation pattern i still think we're in the top all right let's go on to our picks from last week how about the financial sector xlf uh, we had the golden signal on 729 if you would have bought that at 33.32 you're up 33.69 i will tell you this my friends I do not like financial stocks when their yield curves inverted. Simply, banks don't lend as much because they borrow at short-term rates, lend at long-term rates. And when long-term rates are less than short-term rates, doesn't look well for bank profitability. So I don't love this trade, but if you took it as a short-term trade, you are up next upside targets at 34.60, downside at 32.50. How about emerging markets? Momentum still positive. RSI is at 53. MACD sitting on a positive cross. Momentum Time Pro issued its golden signal at 729. You had a buy it open at 39.63. You're still up at 40.06. Upside target is in the 41.20 to 41.60 range. Uh, downside a little below your purchase price at 38.80. Otherwise, if the dollar weakens here, that could be a nice signal. How about India, the one I probably liked the most out of last week's picks? You see, it's moving higher. RSI is at 64. MACD, you've got a positive that are cross golden signal issued on 729 you bought it open at 4230 you're sitting at 4281 x upside targets 44 downside at 4160 and i do want to look at this one because you know like i said i i really like this trade when i saw it setting up i thought this was pretty cool uh so let's take a look and see uh what that chart looks like where is India on here? There it is. So you look at this chart, you've got the six month volume profile below you. You've got some volume here, 44 to the upside. Let's zoom out to the two year chart. You know, there's your upside target is that two year volume profile line. Now it could be in a broader context of a downturn, but as a nice short term trade, uh, I liked it. You have the you know nice cross on the moving averages, a little confirmation on the 50 day, the 100 day is moving around and curling up. So maybe you get a little downside move in here and then you get a, a 
thrust up to the volume profile line, which is, you know, if you sold out there, if that's where it ended, uh, there was a nice short term trade on India. So let's take a look at our next one uh, before we get to our pick of the week. And that is Palladium is our last one from last week. We have RSI at 62 at MACD has got a positive cross. Um, I kind of like this one, even though it got stopped out of the golden signal, but the daily flip back to buy in 725. Had you bought that at 188, you're up to 197.64. Upside target 219, downside at 176. You know, I'll, I'll be remiss if we don't look at this chart. I, I, it's not this i know some of you are saying look this is this thing's probably going to crash it's look it could be just an a trade a short-term trade uh, because here what is the broad signal on this yeah it looks like there's a big top forming but before tops are done price can go higher you can see it's crossed this 50-day moving average you had this signal here got stopped out on the way down it bounced off of support came back up it's holding the 50-day and crawling up the 21-day moving average here's your upside move signal where your one year volume profile is that let's take a look underneath and what do we see there 10 days below your 30-day volume profiles below your 90-day volume profile is right above break through that and you've got a nice little trade there so i like that all right on to our trade of the week that is iShares msci mexico etf eww uh pro metam is positive rsa is at 45 so not super strong um Positive cross on the MACD golden signal from Momentum Time Pro for those on the list, which you could be. Sign up in the link below. It's free. Uh, next report out Monday morning, 8:30 Eastern, 5:30 Pacific. Signal current on 8:4. If you bought it open at 45.70, you're down a little bit at 45.34 with an uptight target right now initial one 49 to 50 dollar weekends that can go higher how the next downside target could be a little bit low 4466 all right let's take a look at eww and see why i find this so interesting and we have to look at the five-year chart because notice how it's clustering here and sometimes when it clusters you get to move higher and where is it clustering right at the vo five-year volume profile line so that's interesting let's zoom in a little bit and what do you see the 21 day moving average is not quite flattening out but you notice there's a bottom here bottom here held here held and so it's holding right here around this 4460 on the bottom side hence the bottom end target upside is of course your two-year volume profile line above now maybe you don't like this trade yet maybe you're saying it's too early let's take a look at the 10 day so you see it's you know buyers and sellers are still duking it out they're kind of evenly matched here and that's fair look at the 30-day window buyers are all below this and pushing up so you might look at this trade and say hey steve you know i, I don't really like it. it's too early that's okay let let the signals you know percolate a bit a little bit let them build up uh, again let's take a look at momentum time pro it's seeing a mid-size signal on the one month window because it hasn't seen a big move move higher yet but look at this the three month is at a minimum the six months just is kind of the old signal coming back down uh, but again you know it, if, you, if you don't like it yet it doesn't mean you have to buy it just put it on your radar that's what momentum tire pro helps you put things on your radar wait maybe let it build a few more days or another week see if it starts to curve up it does jump in and if not hey wait for the next one i'm steve van meter hey thanks for watching thanks for being fans bye now